Now let's look at how these grids are computed. So how do we calculate get the grid point? You should know the grid point for your facility, for your university. You should know the system. I know tech uses a different one. Um, university of Ghana does a weighted grid point. So this is this one is for the nursing training colleges or you can just impute the one from your facility into this and then you use it you are good to go so when you get an a it means that you had 80 to 100 percent in the in your continuous assessment that and it is 4.0 b plus is 75 79 percent and it is 3.5 so with this look at the grids then you pick the grade point that matches the letter grade you had at the end of your semester and that is what you are going to use for the calculations that follow in the in this situation anything below 50 percent you didn't get a mark so it is e and it is 0, 0.0 so any mark below 50 percent imagine your healthcare worker you are doing examination and you get less than 50 percent it means that your chances of saving lives is less than 50 percent so it means you do more harm than good you you should reset the paper and do better so that you can go and save human life and let's understand that this hundred percent is continuous assessment it's not just the end of semester so now let's go into the calculation proper so first of all know your grade points for the for the letters you had in your continuous if you had d know that d is 1.0 after knowing it then you multiply the grade points by the credit hours for that semester so when we look at this sample of grades attained in first semester by miss amasabia please this name is just for teaching purposes the grades are for teaching purposes including the credit hours so these are not for any particular person so if in first semester first year which is semester one human anatomy and physiology one is three credit hours and ama sabia got c plus the great point for c plus remember let's when we come back here to check the great point for c plus is 2.5 so what we'll do is this 2.5 you multiply by the credit hours and we get 7.5 that will be our credit point credit point is equal to credit hours times grade point so what we need here is your great point for the grade that you had in your credit hours the basic lesson is three credit hours and as abia got b b is 3.0 so 3.0 three grade points times three credit hours will give us nine credit points and microbiology and infection prevention is two credit hours and she had a d d is one so one times two is two therapeutic communication is three credit hours she had a d plus d plus is 1.5 1.5 times three is 4.5 professional adjustment is two b plus she had b plus so 3.5 times two credit hours gives us seven nursing informatics is two credit hours she had an a a is 4.0 for a carries a a, a, a weight of a, a, a load of 4.0 4.0 times two is eight then first aid in emergency and disaster nursing is three credit hours she had one 1.0 so 1.0 times three is three so when you get all this they are going to sum up the credit points you had so now you see we have 7.5 plus 9.0 plus 2 plus 1.5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 3 and give us 41 then we come and sum up the credit hours for the semester so that is 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 this one you see mass you get 18 so now the formula say that gpa is equal to total grade point for all courses in a semester divided by total credit hours for the semester so the credit point which is the total grade point total so it's 41 divided by 18 is 2.278 